Well, hey there, Rock fans. Jasper Dave here, and welcome to the 10th episode of Retirement Rocks. Today, we're going to be revisiting one of my previous videos, episode five to be exact, which was breaking open geodes. And the reason I wanted to do this is because I wanted to demonstrate five different methods that you, the viewer, can use at home to break open geodes that you might have lying around or maybe purchasing or finding in the future. Uh, but I'll also be going over some of the uh, safety considerations for breaking open geodes, as well as the pros and cons with the different methods. So grab your geodes, grab your safety gear, and let's get to cracking. So the first method we'll cover is the striking method. It's probably the easiest method because no tools are required, just your hands. But the problem is you just don't know how the geode will break. So you take two geodes of similar size and density and you hit them together repeatedly until one or the other breaks. The minimum recommended safety gear for this method would be safety glasses. But if smashing two rocks together with your hands has you a little nervous, you could always wear gloves. Although I'm not really sure that the gloves are gonna do much good. This method really only works for geode types that are less dense. The second method is what I call the wrap and smash. This is the second easiest method because all you really need is a sock or a towel and a hammer. You put the geode in the sock or wrap it in the towel and hit it repeatedly with the hammer until it breaks. For this one, you don't really need any safety gear because all of the contents of the geode will be contained within the sock or the towel. You don't need a fancy hammer either like the one that I'm using, as you'll see in the next clip. Much like the striking method, you really don't know how the geode will break while using the wrap and smash method. The next method is the pick and chisel method. This one requires, yep, you guessed it, a pick and a chisel, or one or the other, and a hammer. With this method, it is a little easier to control the break. However, that being said, it is not guaranteed. The first thing you want to do is determine where you'd like the break to occur on the geode. Then begin tapping the rock lightly in multiple locations along that line. The object is to score the rock only. You do this on both sides, creating a scored line completely around the geode. You will do this multiple times until the geode breaks open. The recommended minimum safety requirements would be safety glasses or goggles, but you may feel more comfortable using a full face shield to protect you from shards that fly up. I've used this method on geodes that were both dense and geodes that were pretty hollow. And so far, there's only been one of the denser geodes that I have attempted that I was unable to crack open.
Next up is the pipe cutter method. For this method, you need a pair of exhaust pipe cutters. I found these on Amazon for less than $30. I've had great success with good even cracks on the geodes that I have attempted using the pipe cutters. I recommend using this method on geodes that are less to medium density. You are limited to the size of geode that you can break using this method as most of these pipe cutters only have a chain that allows a maximum cut on an object that is three inches in diameter. First, determine which way you want the geode to break. Place the chain around the geode. And clamp it down. Twist the lever in a clockwise direction until the geode breaks. Depending on the density of the rock, you may need a little more leverage in order to get the geode to crack. The recommended safety gear for this method is safety glasses, safety goggles, or a full face shield. So the fifth and final way to break open a geode that I'm going to be demonstrating is to cut it open. And you cut it open utilizing some sort of a power tool. Uh, today I have the 7 inch uh, electric, Chicago electric wet tile saw from Harbor Freight. Um, and we're going to be utilizing this to cut open these particular geodes over here. I've got a total of nine. Uh, four pretty significantly uh, big ones and three or four smaller, uh, excuse me, five smaller ones. Uh, this one here was actually given to me by a friend of mine in Pennsylvania. She sent me this and she wants me to cut it open. So I'm going to cut it open and send it back to her. Uh, but before I do that, uh, it's also recommended that you mark where you want to cut the geode. And I do that by utilizing a Sharpie and I might I might run a line all along the rock or I might just put dashes to help guide me along the way. So um, another consideration before you start cutting the geodes is you wanna have protective, uh, protective gear on. So I have a rain suit on from Harbor Freight, $10 I think it was. I've also got a filter uh, respirator type thing here. Uh, so I'm not inhaling the rock dust as it's cutting and I also have safety goggles that I'll be wearing so that uh, no shards fly off and hit me in the face. So all this stuff, put it on and get to cutting. Here we go. All right, we're gonna try one more, this really small one right here. So we'll see what happens.
Well, all right, folks, as we wrap this video up, I just wanted to give you an overview of all the geodes that were either cut or broken in the making of this video. Right here, these are all the geodes that I did the striking method. These are the geodes that I broke open using the wrap and smash method. These are the geodes that I used or that I uh, broke open using the chisel and pick method to include this guy up here at the top. These are all the geodes that I broke open using the pipe cutter method. And then down up there at the back, you can see all the ones that I wind up cutting utilizing the tile saw. That one right there is my wife's favorite. She's, it's purple on the inside, so of course it's her favorite, but it also, she thinks that it looks like a heart. I agree with her, it does. So I plan on polishing the face of, of these, like this guy right here, you can see. Oh, like these two here, you can see how smooth that face is. I'm gonna try and polish those up so they shine a little bit more. This guy right here, that's a blue chalcedony. I did not, you did not see that in the video. And I wind up opening it at a later time uh, in hopes to get a good video, but it didn't turn out so well, so I cut it out. Uh, but this guy was really difficult to cut. He's pretty hard. So uh, got a little, a little bit of kickback on the blade when uh, using the saw. Um, and this this rock here is also a blue chalcedony and i tried this is the one that i mentioned earlier in the video that i tried to open with the chisel and pick method wasn't very successful you can see a couple of gashes in there uh but it's it's a little bit larger than the size of a softball and it's it's real heavy so i'll have to cut this one open with the the tile saw at some other time but that's it folks that's all the geodes Hope you enjoyed watching. If you have a way or a method that you use to break open or cut geodes at home uh, please, that I did not cover, please share. Uh, I'll be happy to make another video trying it out. Um, but that's it for this video. So until next time, rock fans, you know the drill. Just keep on tumbling.